بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہلو اینڈ ویلکم ٹو رحمان ڈیجیٹل پروڈکشن دس از میتھمیٹکس فورٹی ٹوینٹی فور اینڈ لیکچر نمبر تھرٹی تھرڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ دا نیو ایکسرسائز اینڈ اے نیو ٹاپک ود دا نیم آف فارمولائی فارمولائی از دا پلورل آف فارمولا whenever different variables combines together they are generating the uh, formula which expresses the expression now we have to give values to different variables and then we will find the corresponding value of the uh, subject for example if area of the rectangle is l cross b l and b are representing the variables and a is the subject so by giving different values to this l and b we will be able to find the value of an area a scientist work on it very hard uh, and then formulate a formula for the convenience of the people to be easily solved by the uh, common man so let us learn the technique that how we will use formulae when the values of the variables are given we are starting exercise 5b and that is saying that if y is equal to 3 over 5 x plus 26 find the value of y when x is equal to 12 so we have to write put x is equal to 12 in the given formula <clears throat> uh ladies and gentlemen y is equal to 3 over 5 and instead of this x we have to put 12 uh this is 26 on its place in computer programming when you are passing values to a function that is called the mechanism of argument passing so this is that argument which we are passing to this variable now we have to simplify it 12 3 36 divide by 5 plus 26 i am taking 5 is the uh, lcm and when i divide this uh, 26 by uh, 5 then we get 180 no not 180 one hundred and eighty one hundred and five six are thirty five two are ten ten and three yes one thirty so we are getting as a result is one hundred and sixty six and we have to divide it by five so when 166 is divided by 553015153015 and 1 so we are getting 33 whole 1 over 5 is the ultimate result now the second question is saying that if a is equal to y square minus xz all divided by 5 find the value of a when x is equal to 2 y is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to 3 so putting the given values putting the given values in the formula we will get a is equal to y value is minus 1 whole square because it is square here 
एन एक्स इज टू एन जेड इज माइनस थ्री एन होल डिवाइड बाई फाइव सो लेट एस एवेलुएट इट माइनस वन होल स्क्वेयर विल बिकम वन एंड दिस माइनस विल बिकम पॉजिटिव विद दिस माइनस एन टू थ्री जर सिक्स डिवाइड बाई फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू सेवन डिवाइड बाई फाइव वेन वी डिवाइड दिस सेवन बाई फाइव सो वन होल टू ओवर फाइव विल बी दि आंसर वन होल टू ओवर फाइव विल बी दि आंसर ओके नाउ लेट एस डू दि नेक्स्ट पार्ट एंड दैट इज एस इज इक्वल टू फोर पाई आर स्क्वेर दिस वर्ड दिस साइन इज नोन एज पाई एंड हुज वैल्यू इज ट्वेंटी टू ओवर सेवन या थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर वन फाइव नाइन एटसेट्रा नो बॉडी सो फार हैज फाइंड द करेक्ट वैल्यू ऑफ पाई वेन एवर वी आर टेकिंग द करेक्ट वैल्यू इट इज टू द नियर अप्रोक्सीमेशन सो दे आर सेंग दैट फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एस and then 4 into 22 over 7 that is a constant wherever you are going you will have to put 22 over 7 when 22 is divided by 7 it yields 3.14159 and infinite numbers and never stopping numbers and instead of this 10 whole 1 over 2 square here in gentlemen 10 and a half and 10 and a half when multiplied together what it will yield so 4 into 22 over 7 into 21 over 2 whole square now this will give you 4 into 22 over 7 into 21 when multiplied with 21 21 multiplied by 21 it gives you 400 and 41 divided by 4 this 4 will be cancel with this one and we have to multiply this and the ultimate answer will be 31386 uh, yes that will be the final answer when you calculate it okay the second part of this question is saying now make r as the subject when s is equal to given as 1600 so in this case on the place of this s we are writing 1600 4 is a constant pi is a constant and we have to find the value of r so we are not putting any value first of all 600 and 16 when this 4 is multiplied with this it will become 88 divided by 7 and r square now r square is equal to a 600 and 16 multiplied by 7 divided by 88 now we are taking square root on both sides so you know that this r will be cancel with this one n 600 n 16 multiplied by 7 is equal to 4 3 1 2 by 88 under the root now we have to take this value uh, under the root and we are taking it 4312 divide by 88 and then the bracket close so it means that we will get 
plus minus 7. You have to remember ladies and gentlemen that whenever you are removing this under the root you have to put plus and minus symbol. But because the question is saying only find the positive uh, a square root of the not the negative value. So, we are bound to write only the positive which is, is equal to 7 and if you are not writing positive value uh, plus sign with the positive value it does not matter. Okay, now area of triangle is given as A is equal to 1 over 2 B H where B is the base and H is the height of triangle. So, they are saying find area if B is equal to 20 and H is equal to 45. So, in this case we are writing 1 over 2 into 20 into 45. Now, 2 ones are 2, 2 tens are 20 and when 10 is multiplied with 4, uh, 45, so it will become 450 and the unit should be in square. So, they given us uh, the values in centimeter, so it will be centimeter square. Now, 450 is the answer of this. Next question is saying that in this part, find H. Now, we have to make the H as a subject. So, uh, first of all, let us write it originally 1 over 2 into B H and H is equal to 2 A divided by B. So, H is now the subject and we have to put the values 2 and the value of A is given as 10 and the value of B is given, the, the value of A is given as 30 and the value of B is given as 10, 10 ones are and 10 threes are. So, 6 centimeter. Height is in centimeter, not in the uh, square. Remember my these words. Okay, the question number 5 is saying, find a formula for each of the following. Listen carefully. This is given on page number 121. And they are saying in part A, we have to write the formula. Listen carefully. Product P. We have to find product P of three number x, y, z. So, you have to write x, y, z. x is a variable, y is a variable, z is a, is a variable and we have to multiply all these three things with each other and that will give us the value. Okay. The second part is saying sum s of the square you have we have to find we have to find s and the square of what sum of the square of p and cube of the cube p square plus cube of Q. You have to write it in this particular fashion and that will be the answer. Now, C part is saying average A of four numbers M, N, P and Q. Average A of four numbers. We will discuss uh, M, N, P, Q. M plus n plus p plus q divide by 4 and we will discuss this in the 7 uh, something like that is a chapter in which we will find the average. What is average? Sum of all the numbers divide by the, the total numbers. You have to count because m, n, p, q are 4 
we added that and then we have to divide it by 4 because the numbers are 4. If there were 5 numbers, we had to divide it by 5 then. If they were 3 in numbers, then we had to divide it by 3. In this case, this is the answer. Okay. D part is saying time t in minutes. This is very important. First, we have to find t in minutes, but they given us the first is in the hours, in minutes for a train journey of 8 hours. So, how many minutes are there in 1 hour? 60. So, we have to write 60 A instead of 1 hour. Then, that's the answer will be wrong plus B minutes. And here we have to write plus B minutes and that is the answer. We are creating the formula after taking as a scientist much of the data from experiments. We are formulating a formula. So, generally you have to take the value of variables, put it and you will get the corresponding value of the subject. Okay. These are the main purpose of using a formula. Now, we are coming to the intermediate level question and intermediate level question uh, is a bit advanced of these first five questions. Now, question number six is saying, if k is equal to p plus 2q divide, whole divide by 3, find p when k is equal to 7 and q is equal to 9. First, we have to make the subject is P. So, we have to left the P here. So, we can write first K is equal to plus plus P plus 2 Q divide by 3 and then we can write 3 K minus. We have to find the P. So, 2 Q is equal to p. Yes, 3q and when 2q is coming to this side, automatically it will be minus 2q. Now, k is also given and q is also given. We have to put these values in and we can rearrange it writing this p on the right side. For example, 5 is equal to 2 plus 3. Yeah, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 is the same thing. So, you can rearrange it in both sides. You can commute it. So, putting the value of k is 7 minus 2 and the value of q is 9. So, that will be equal to uh, this is 7 only and minus is here. So, 3 sevens are 21 minus 18. So, the value of P is 3. Uh, we have to do the next question before that I am erasing the whiteboard. Okay, let us do question number 7 and question number 7 is saying u is equal to pi into r plus h. Find the value of R. So, U is given, H is given and pi is given here 22 over 7. But by any means, if pi is not given, this is a universal constant. So, you have to take the value 22 over 7. Let's solve it. First of all, we have to make this R as the subject u is equal to pi into r plus h is the given formula. Here I can write u divided by pi is equal to r plus h. So, because we are making r as the subject, so u divided by pi minus h. Now, we have to put the values u is equal to 16 whole 1 over 2 
ट्वेंटी टू ओवर सेवन माइनस एच एन एच एज टू एन जेंटलमैन लेट अस फर्स्ट एवेलुएट थर्टी थ्री ओवर टू होल डिवाइड बाय ट्वेंटी टू ओवर सेवन माइनस टू रिमेंबर दिस वर्ड्स that this implies that r is equal to 33 over 2 multiplied by 7 over 22 when this is in denominator when you are finishing this division symbol by multiplication symbol you have to take the reciprocal and then you have to write minus 2 11 3s are and 11 2s are then we are writing that the uh, 21 divide by 4 minus 2 so i am taking 4 as the lcm 21 minus 8 and 21 minus 8 means 13 divide by 4 that is equal to 3 whole 1 over 4 and that is the ultimate answer of this question now let us see what the question number 8 is asking question number 8 is saying that if x square is equal to u square plus tgs find the value of s v is equal to 25 u is equal to 12 and g is equal to 10 in this way i can check cross check the question that i wrote it correctly because one symbol can lead to a serious mistake uh let us first make this s as a subject writing v square is equal to u square plus 2g s as the original question now uh, we have to bring this on this side so 2g s is equal to v square minus u square here the students are always asking when you are bringing this on this side so it will become minus 2gs why you are writing to, i not brought it on this side i wrote it on that side then re i rearranged it so now we have to find s so we have to write s is equal to v square minus u square divided by 2g next we have to put the given values here 25 square minus 12 square whole divided by 2 into 10 now i will need the calculator to save the time 25 square means 625 625 minus 144 because i know 12 12s are 144 and that is uh to 10s are 20 so from 625 when we subtract 44 so s is equal to 481 divide by 20 Uh, so when 481 is divided by 20, so uh, it will be equal to 20, 24. Let us divide it. 481 whole divided by 20, 22 are 40. 8, 20 fours are 80. n1 so it will be equal to 24 whole 1 over 20 24 whole 1 over 20 now next question is saying a minus b a divided by b minus d is equal to 2c divided by b we have to find the c so let us write the original equation first minus d is equal to 2c divided by b then in gentlemen you have to make the subject as c so you have to left c on one side 
uh, first I am writing this equation 2 C divided by B A divided by B minus D. So, you not get confused. Uh, then I am taking that side only C is remaining here. So, B divided by 2 A divided by B minus D because this 2 divided by B when going on that side and that will be multiplied. So, it will be the reciprocal of 2 now 2 divided by B. Now, we have to put the values. <coughs> so, B is 4 divided by 2, A is 3 divided by 4 minus D and that is minus 5. So, here C is equal to 2 because 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4 and then we have to take 3 over 4 plus 5, 2 or 3 over 4 plus 5 which is equal to 2 and I am taking 4 as the LCM so 3 plus 20. Now we can cut this not here. You cannot cut it here because there is a plus symbol. Now, no plus symbol is there. So, we have to cut this 2. 2 is 4 and C is equal to 23 divided by 2 which is equal to 11 whole 1 over 2. And that will be the ultimate answer of this question. Now, next question Number 10 is saying that if n is equal to m whole divided by n, uh, this is question number 11, uh, m into x plus q, yes it is x, I was confirming this that whether it is n or x. So, they are saying find q. And when we are finding this Q, we have to uh, make this as a subject. So, first we have to bring it on this side X plus Q into uh, is equal to M divided by N, M divided by N and then we have to carry again this x to that side. So, m divided by n minus x. Next step is to put the values inside this variable. So, q is equal to m and m is given as 9 and n is given as 1 whole 4 over 5 and x is given as 2. Q is equal to 9 divided by 9 divided by 5 minus 2, which is equal to 9 multiplied by 5 divided by 9 minus 2. 9 will be cancelled with this 9 and Q is equal to 5 minus 2, which is equal to 3. So, 3 will be the ultimate answer of this question number 11. Now, we are turning our focus to question number 12, which is given as C 1 over uh, A over B minus D or we have to make F is the uh, subject. So, we have to leave this F here. And then, first of all, I am writing C minus A divided by B is equal to minus D minus E divided by F minus D. Now, we have to bring this F minus D on this side. So, it means that I have to write F minus D into C minus A divided by B 
is equal to minus n to d minus e. I brought only this to this side and it will be multiplication. Now I have to shift again this to it is a bit complicated but after all there is no other way of it. So I will write minus d minus e whole divide by c a divide by b. I brought it here down. So we are getting this and now we have to only leave f is here minus d minus e whole divide by c minus a divide by b and when I shift that to that side it will become d. And gentlemen let us do it here. Now we have to put values. So f is equal to what is the value of d? It is minus 5. What is the value of <coughs> e? <coughs> and that is 2. And what is the value of? Uh, first of all, I have to write this minus. d is minus 5 minus and e is 2. And then separately I have to write the value of c which is minus 6 and minus a value of a is 3 and the value of b is 4 and then minus uh, plus d and the value of d is given as minus 5. Now, so f and this minus and this minus 7 and here I have to take 4 is the LCM. So minus 24 and minus 3 and minus 5 because this minus will become plus with this one. So F is equal to minus minus 7 divided by minus 27 over 4. This minus will be cancelled with this one and this will be reciprocal. We have to take the reciprocal. So it will be minus because this minus 7 multiplied by and when we take the reciprocal 4 over 27 and then minus 5. So we are taking as 27 is the LCM and that will be 7 fours are so minus 28 and then minus 5 27 are minus 135 which is equal to minus 162 divided by 27. So when we divide 1 6 divide so it will give you minus 3 minus 3 minus 6 whole 1 over 27 minus 6 whole 1 over 27 and that is the ultimate answer. Uh, thank you very much for watching tomorrow we will do the other question and we will clear our concept as well. Allah Hafiz.